Hello, my name is Michael Tomlin. Welcome to Studio One Tips and Tricks. This includes 10 chapters of tips and tricks that can improve your workflow in Studio One and techniques to help improve the quality of your mixes. We're going to cover creating your own third-party plug-in thumbnails. This can speed up finding the plugin you're looking for while reducing eye strain. Creating a plugin favorites folder, another great way to efficiently find the plugin you're looking for. Creating intros and more using the reverse audio feature with effects. This is really a cool way to discover new sounds and textures. Adding white noise to snares using the Persona's tone generator and expander plugins. This is an interesting way to help a snare cut through in a busy mix. Enhancing kicks using the Persona's tone generator and expander plugins. A great way to fatten kicks and the bottom end of mixes for any style of music. Mono effects workaround and more. How to use mono in, mono out effects, and some creative possibilities this technique creates. Checking and correcting phase using the Personas VU meter and mix tool plugins. This chapter explains the importance of phase relationships of tracks in a mix and how to check and correct phase issues. DSing effects using the Personas compressor plugin. Explaining the benefits of DSing effects channels can create front to back depth in a mix and improve transients. Creating a ducking delay using the Persona's Beat Delay and Compressor plugins. A ducking delay can often be exactly what you're wanting in a mix. This chapter explains how to set up this type of delay effect. And mixing into a main channel of processing from the start of a mix. Many people like to set up the main channel or often referred to as the mix bus with the chain of processing they like to mix into from the start of a mix. This chapter explains this concept and demonstrates an example starting point using Persona's plugins. Thanks for watching and catch you in the next video.